Yeah, definitely. Um, people with AIDS, cancer, uh, dialysis, you know, it helps with the nausea, helps you to eat, it's definitely takes away pain. I've heard a lot of my friends talk about it. I've heard it in the news. It's kind of a controversial idea right now, so everyone's talking about it. I have. I've heard. I know of a lot of people that has actually smokes marijuana. Um, that's breast cancer, brain tumors, um, all kinds, of, all phases of cancer that have gone. That are going through chemotherapy. The marijuana has um, helped reduce the nausea and that that they've felt the effects in that does it fix it no but it helps it helps ease the pain i think um, that the prescription drugs that you named pose a much greater risk than marijuana to our youth because of their addictive potential and their other side effects that have adverse effects on health i think Personally, Oxycontin, it's pretty hardcore. I think it's highly addictive. Addictive. Um, Vicodin is actually, you know, it actually eats up your stomach, you know, and whereas marijuana doesn't. I'd say all the prescription drugs because today's youth go in there and steal and they go to these parties and they have what they call the farming where they dump the drugs that they have, go in there, grab a handful or one or two of, they don't even have a clue what's in that bowl and drink with it and don't know the f effects from the end of it. Mix it with alcohol or whatever. No, marijuana's not bad. In my knowledge, in that whole array of drugs that people could be taking, uh, to, as far as I know, marijuana is probably one of the less risky ones in terms of the harm that it does to the human body. Um, that, that's not a ringing endorsement of it. I think marijuana has, uh, in terms of harm to the human body, is probably less risky than the other drugs. What I don't know is whether marijuana, how risky marijuana is in terms of behaviors that people engage in, doing dangerous things, water skiing while high on marijuana and things like that. I, I don't know whether people might be more prone to do risky things on marijuana than they would on some other prescription drug. That's a two-sided question, yes. <clears throat> I think it should be made legal because it's, it, it's not that harmful of a drug. Everybody calls it the gateway. It's not a gateway drug. Everybody wants to get another high. You can get the same thing off of oxycodone or Vicodin and all that. You might as well call that a gateway drug too. Taxing it puts it in the hands of the government just like everything else. Government has their hands in way too much. Um, but if it means making it legal by taxing it, then I'm all for taxing it. I think if that's the way it's got to be done, sure. I think you should treat it like alcohol. I really do. Um, although alcohol, you know, I, I still find it's funny because I think alcohol is worse than marijuana. So I am a proponent that um, marijuana should be decriminalized. Um, and that recreational use um, should be controlled in, in ways similar to how we control alcohol because I think it would be more consistent with our other drug policy and would help us um, be more knowledgeable and control marijuana use. No, I don't. I think that if they were to regulate it in gas stations or dispensaries, wherever they were to, to start selling um, marijuana, they would be able to regulate the sales and have an idea instead of uh, selling it on the streets where anyone can get it from whoever, whenever they need. It depends on the rules that we, that we use for it. I know it's no big deal to come across alcohol if, if you're a teenager in high school, and it's also no big deal to come across marijuana. I think, I think it will be about as easy to get if it's legalized than, than it is now. I think it's very easy to get now. It may be that legalizing it wouldn't change things very much. I don't think it would bring more drug users. I think it would bring more people to use it as a medical 
or as a medication and uh, if it were to be used more as a drug I think it would be uh, controlled better by the law and also the government how it's made how it's uh, dealt and it would probably I wouldn't say a safer drug trade but it could help lower it I think I think if it's if it were legalized it would become even more acceptable uh, socially than it is now and I worry that it would have more people driving cars operating heavy equipment making parental decisions doing all kinds of things when they're not really able to do that I'm not convinced and I don't think the research shows that it definitely would increase the number of users because this is a drug that's u widely used in, in our society. I think it would just bring it out in the open so that we would hopefully have an honest discussion with it um, like we do around other substance use including alcohol and um, other kinds of drugs.